Hi, Stefan Svartling here from Svartling Network. This week and I had some uh, hands-on time with uh, a Samsung Ultrabook with touch display and uh, the Microsoft Surface. And uh, I must say that I was quite impressed with the Ultrabook from Samsung with touch in the screen. I have said before in a video that I would like to have uh, a touch display on the 11-inch MacBook Air that would make this device even better and uh, that's why I wanted to try this Ultrabook with touch in the screen and I still think that uh, it would be really good to have touch built into the screen on a Ultrabook or laptop especially when laying down in bed uh, with having the computer on your knee or stomach when reading or watching movies or something then it would be perfect to have a touch sensitive screen. It's very awkward to move your hands down to the touch pad to do something instead of just touching the screen with your thumbs for example. So Windows 8 on this Ultrabook from Samsung worked great with touch. I didn't see any lag and I thought uh, it worked very good. Quite impressive actually. If I ever would um, go back to a Windows machine, that would never happen, but anyway, uh, then it should have Windows 8 with um, touch sensitive display. So I still hope that Apple will add touch to the 11 inch MacBook Air. The Microsoft Surface then, I still think the feeling of it is too plastic, no high build quality. And I don't like the kickstand, you can only have it in one angle and uh, only works on a desktop or a table. You can't have it on your knee or uh, on your stomach while, when laying down in bed reading for example. Yes, I know you can uh, use it as a tablet then, but then you need to hold it when reading or watching movies. I don't like that. And every time you need to type something, you need to use a touch keyboard on the screen. And I don't like the um, keyboard that um, that innovative keyboard that Microsoft has uh, made for the Surface. It's a very very good idea, but having a keyboard in uh, this thin cover is no good. You can't type good on it. You can't type fast on that keyboard. I've tried that now. Yes, of course you can uh, learn to type faster, but it's much worse than typing on a real keyboard. And same with that keyboard, you can't have it anywhere else. On, you need to have it on a table or on a desk. You can't have it in the, in the bed, for example, on your knee or on your stomach. It doesn't work. I still think that uh, the 11 inch MacBook Air is much better to have. Yes, it's not a tablet, but is that a plus or minus? To me, that is a huge plus that is not a tablet because a tablet is uh, limited you can do so much so fast on a tablet as you can do on a, a real ultrabook or laptop it's impossible so I still prefer my 11 inch MacBook Air